Good afternoon shopkeepers and do-it-yourselfers out there at YouTube land. Today we're going <clears> to <throat> do a couple things on this 2008 Mitsubishi Eclipse with a 2.4 V6 internal combustion fuel fired engine. Started out just being it uh, crank over and it wouldn't start. Had to replace the the crank position sensor which wasn't too big of a deal but it's down on the bottom at the like the two o'clock position by the crankshaft position sensor the tone ring uh, you got to pull the timing chain cover or the timing belt cover off to get to it and this has been a part before I believe somebody put a water pump on it and probably a timing belt at some point but the water pump uh, <clears throat> they'd done a terrible job and they didn't replace the, the seal on the uh, uh, crossover tube and uh, it was leaking so we're replacing it again but anyway when you go to replace this or take this timing cover off the lower cover goes on there like this right there is where your harness connector goes for the crank sensor and then it goes down through the, in this channel down to here where your balance shaft gear is you turn it over that's where your connector is so when you fasten it on the cover it secures onto the connect uh, the the crank sensor so to replace the crankshaft sensor obviously you have to take this off and you can see where it had been off before and broke somebody tried to epoxy it and that didn't work I tried to find a connect or a cover for it couldn't find one but it holds here the nut holds this part where it connects onto the sensor so we're going to leave it reuse it but just so as you know when you're taking this off be careful uh, they probably tried to take it off and didn't have all the fasteners off maybe it just got a little uh, brittle and they they just broke it but anyway so we'll go underneath and show you where the cam sensor or the crank sensor rather the crankshaft sensor fastens on right there's the new crankshaft position sensor is take that 10 millimeter head bolt and that 10 millimeter head bolt and this little horseshoe like bracket goes on and that that uh hole in that cover where the nut goes that's where that slips over so that holds that cover down tight where that connector uh, fastens into the sensor it'll hold it in there pretty snug but anyway you can see it it doesn't touch it's supposed to have an air gap of like I don't know maybe 20 thousandths or so as these uh, tone teeth goes passes that magnet creates an alternating current but anyway we've got the the o-ring off for the uh, uh, all the crossover pipe for the cooling system that's where the water pump fastens and we've got the gasket all cleaned off and uh, our timing marks I'll go ahead and show you guys where the timing marks are you can see you've got a mark right here that hole and it lines up with this little uh, pointer deal that's cast into the uh, oil pump housing right there it points right at that that mark and I've got the uh, bolt in there but the keyway 
for the crank pulley would point at the nine o'clock position as you're looking at it. And then your balance shaft, you've got a, a casting a triangle pointer right there. And it points at, at this dot right there. So those two are lined up. And then we got the, the, the camshaft gear up to top it's already lined up. This is the, uh, well, let's see. Is that a, that might be another balance shaft. One of them is the oil pump, I believe. I don't know, I'd have to look, but anyway, I know that the belt is good and the tensioner's pretty snug on it, so we're not going to mess with that. We're just going to, and the, the belt's in good shape, the main timing belts, we're not going to replace that. We're just going to replace the water pump. We noticed when we had the cover off that it was leaking. So that's why we're replacing that, but it just started out to be replacing the crank sensor and uh, it just kept growing. But anyway, Let's go back up top and we'll start working on getting the water pump put on. Got the new O-ring slipped on the crossover pipe right there. And uh, the new water pump, take and put you a, a dab of silicone grease around the, the seal surface in there so when you go to slip it on, it won't roll that O-ring. And I like to use an anaerobic sealer around the water pump. As you can see it's it's not a thick coating and the only purpose for it is is to hold the gasket. The gasket's job is to seal it. If you have to use two inches of sealer then you just well throw the gasket away because that's what sealer's for. This is just to hold the gasket in place so I can work with one hand and not worry about the gasket falling out of position and uh, but this is obviously it's not driven by the timing belt it's driven by an out uh, 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 a pulley that's driven by the serpentine belt but I took the belt off because uh, the tensioner and all that was in the way of the water pump so you do need to take your timing uh, cover uh, your timing belt off and you can see that notch right there right below my thumb and it will line up with a notch right here in the in the cam gear now let's see get the light up and you can see that little notch right there in the cam gear lines up with that notch in the valve cover and uh, don't crank it over while you got the belt off I'm not sure. I think Mitsubishi engines are free running. It's been a while since I've done one and, and looked at that information, but uh, I know Hondas are pretty bad about bending valves, but I don't believe the Mitsubishi engine is. But anyway, let's get the, uh, the bolts for the, the water pump. You see that one there is thin and that one's about a half inch and that was about a half inch so you've got two uh, one short one and two mid-sized one and then you got two long ones right there that are the same length so you got uh, five bolts but three different length bolts so uh, make sure you put them in the right spot there you can see the two long bolts the two medium sized bolts that are the same and then the one short one I got all the bolts started and uh, start getting them tightened down and uh, the proper torque specs on them bolts if you're concerned about that well you can look online and find it I just get them uh, German torque specs good and tight uh, just keep it in mind that they're not uh, three-quarter inch bolts don't put a pipe on them and 
torque them down to 95 foot pounds. Uh, anyway, let's get them tightened up and then we'll start working on the timing belt, getting all the everything else put back on. Okay, fellas, got them five bolts tightened down on the water pump. And I did uh, take a refresher course. This is the balance shaft and this is the oil pump. So this is the balance shaft belt here. I was thinking that the, there wouldn't be enough room for a balance shaft right there, but anyway, I was asleep at the wheel. But we got the, the crankshaft sensors in, and it's tightened down, and, and uh, before I took all this stuff apart, I put the cover back on and started it up and confirmed that that fixed it. You can see the connector up there for the, the crankshaft sensor where it goes into the cover and then it follows that harness that comes down. But anyway, we'll get that uh, all put together on a different video. Uh, <clears throat> appreciate you watching, and uh, share, like, and subscribe. Comment if you will. Have a good day.